you know, the sound recordings. But one big difference is um, ASCAP and BMI are membership organizations. You have to sort of pick one, and you know, and they represent you and you sign a membership agreement. We uh, collect all the royalties for all performers and copywriters. So absolutely, as a matter of fact, our head of outreach, Brian Calhoun, is in the. You want to raise your hand, Brian? He's in the audience here. Um, and you should definitely, if, if, if you know, if you have owned a copyright or if you're a performer, um, you should definitely have a relationship with them. And it, you know, it's, we have money for. Uh, we spend a lot of time trying to reach out and track people. Hi. Um, a question for you about the video capabilities um, for radio. I understand that um, you know, like the HD radios have like video screens. Are we going to start to see lyrics accompanying songs? It'd be great if songs came out the door and we can all sing along. <laughs> we we actually just we earlier this year brought up lyrics on uh, Pandora through a, a deal with uh, with Grace Note. So. Um, if you want to look at the lyrics while you listen to the song on Pandora, it's there. Well, it's down to We don't have that capability. There's some like some people playing around with that that technology. Well, we do um, a Doom, so you're set there. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but that's a very great. That's a really great point. We've done focus groups all over the world, actually. I mean, lyrics are really important and a major, major um, uh, thing for. A lot of consumers, so it's a great point. Maybe, maybe we, could, we will have, yeah, we'll have more. Maybe we figure out a way for the for the person singing along for the voice to be auto tuned to what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> you can change the icon, bouncing <laughs> icon. Yes. I was going to say, Little Wayne already has that feature, so you don't have to worry. But uh, my question is about um, the Webcaster Settlement Act of 2009. If I have that correct. So, if, if my understanding is correct, is it right that there is still not an agreed upon rate between uh, Sound Exchange and Pandora and the smaller webcasters? Is that is there still a rate discussion going on at this point, or is there some settled or agreed rate that webcasters are paying? I, look, I, mean, I guess the way I can characterize it is uh, there's not a final answer in agreement, but I think there are. Uh, there's a lot of progress, and you know, there's signs that after two years of war, peace may be breaking out. Yeah, I have a quick question regarding uh, micro webcasters. Those who have five, ten, fifteen listeners, um, many there's thousands of these, that, and many of them are looking at having to close their doors to even the minimum royalty rates to exceed their gross profits. Is there a place in the market for these people in the future? Well, I, I think that there needs to be some way, shape, or form for uh, for people to, uh, to to run radio stations on kind of a hobbyist or a uh, super special interest level, and that, you know the most likely most likely method for that is through uh, is through some kind of aggregator, like uh, like Live 365 or um, Loud City, uh, who will uh, who will uh, 